All right, people, welcome back to the card review. God, we have so many cards to look at. I swear to God. It's just like, I, I, I was gone for two weeks, and I fell so far behind, and then they just keep pushing more new cards, and I can't keep up. Like, I don't I don't think I, either, either I'm going to have card review for fucking forever because it seems like I'm so far behind at this point, you know. When Before I took my break, and I was kind of scraping for some cards. I'm like, I'm like, let me go on, you know, DPYGO's channel. Let's see. Is there anything that he reviewed way in the past that I never looked at? Oh, here's a card, you know. But now it's just like there's just a buttload of cards, and they just released a whole bunch more. So we got a ton of card review. So, uh, of course, since, you know, Elder Guy Noden is uh, coming here to the TCG, uh, I thought, you know, there's another Elder God right here. Let's go ahead and talk about this new card. And then, uh, you know, let, let me go ahead and kill just two birds with one stone. And let me just go ahead and talk about my, and give my opinion about Elder God Noting coming here to the TCG as well. Because I know a lot of you people want to uh, get a ton of messages on Facebook and YouTube and comments. They're just like, what do you know? You know, Elder's coming to TCG. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, what do you think? What do you think Daniel? All right, I'll tell you what I fucking think. All right? Damn. So, before we get to this card, let's go ahead and talk about Noting. So... It is confirmed that Noden is coming in the September uh, tens, the Mega Tens in September. It's just, you know, easy to require, super rare, and I think the Odd Eyes 10, because it seemed like the Dark Rebellion 10, I think it had Dark Rebellion, and I think that 10 also has Castell. So in comparison to, you know, the, the Odd Eyes 10, it was like, well, why would I ever want to get the Odd Eyes 10? You know, I'm not really using Talent Gems, but, you know, dark, both Dark Rebellion and Castell can go in my toolbox of rank 4, so hell yeah, that 10. But then they had to be like, oh, buy the other 10 too, the Allies 10 too. And we're like, why the fuck should we buy that 10? And they're like, no in it. And it's just like, shut up and take my money. And I said, oh, no, a lot of people ain't doing that. And, and um, like, as soon as it was announced, what, uh, ultra rare institutions shot up to like $10. And uh, the hype is real. The hype is real. So what do I think about Nolan? I think Noden is an unhealthy card. He, he is up there with the unhealthy cards right now. Like, uh... Definitely Cyber Dragon Infinity and, uh, you know, Releaser. There's just, a, there's just a handful of just unhealthy cards. And I, I, I put Noted in that category. Now, of course, when you look at Noted and you're just like, okay, well, you have to go ahead and just, you know, summon the, what is it? I think a level four or lower monster from the Bedwars effect negated. So, you know, that seems like it's totally fine. You know, uh, you play the Insta Fusion, summon Noden, and then no one summons you a level 4 UXC. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like Wolf Bark, you know? It's like, hey, you know, Tell Knights have Alt Altair, and then we have Wolf Bark, who went back up to 3, so clearly Konami doesn't care about this whole uh, summon from Graveyard and easy access to the XC thing. But I believe that this card is much more powerful than both Altair and Wolf Bark, and the reason for that is that it doesn't cost you your normal summon. You know, the, the, you get what's a mind game. And when your opponent uses their normal summon, you know, you have a, uh, depending on what happened and what response you had to their normal summon, uh, you have definitely have a sigh of relief if you can go ahead and, you know, interrupt that play or stop the play that involves the normal summon, correct? If your opponent goes, activate Instafusion, summon Noden. Noden, summon some, some level 4, XC into something. They still got their normal summon. For all you know, they could freaking go ahead and just go, oh, well, you stopped my note in play? Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. I don't really give a shit about that anyway. So I guess I'll now, since that you, you know, already used, you know, your back row, whatever your response to that is. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and go Altair, summon the nap. See? It, you know, if it was just Wolf Bark, they go, summon Wolf Bark. Effect. Fiendish Chain. There goes their normal summon. That's it. You don't have to worry about it. But if they go, Instafusion, Noden, Noden, summon back the bear, XC into something like a 101 or a Castell, then they go, Wolf Bark, Wolf Bark, summon bear, XC into top. See? That's when it starts to get ridiculous, right? That's when it starts to get ridiculous, because it doesn't cost you a normal summon. If your opponent just goes, summon Altair, effect, you negate it, bam, you're good. You don't really, unless they have like a call on the haunt or something, that's pretty much the extent of their play that turn. But... With Noden involved, it just gets a little bit more ridiculous. Now, we were probably sitting here wondering, like, wow, you know, I thought we were safe, you know? I thought they didn't want to bring Noden here to the TCG, you know? You, there's apparently, there's some funny video that I think uh, your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel made about Noden, and, you know, that video is completely invalid because he's coming. W w my opinion about why I think Konami's bringing him here. Well, of course, for money. 
That that's clearly clearly it's gonna sell it's gonna sell the odd eyes ten. It's like the card. It's like the one card. It's not odd eyes. Of course, odd eyes and darker banyan. They're both the anime cards. They're both the the, the uh, token ten monsters. Sure, but what's gonna sell that odd eyes ten is definitely gonna be Noden. Now, why do I think it, they brought it here? Um, well, of course they can see that uh, OCG. It was kind of doing its thing, and they clearly can see that. OCG responded by hitting Instafusion down to one. So now in a couple of uh, OCG decks, you see Instafusion being played at one with one Noden. That's fine. Do I think uh, that Konami is gonna like do an early hit on Instafusion before Noden comes out? No, I do not think so. You know, if they hit Instafusion early and, and hit Instafusion down to one, copying set precedent off the OCG, what they've been doing for a while. If they do that before even Noden comes out, before the tens, then that would just sell them less tens. So, not the not before Noden, after Noden, after they sold all their tens. Because instead of being like, well, if we hit Instafusion down to one, then they only need one ten to get one Noden. But if we get, if we've got three, and Instafusion at three, then you gotta buy three tens, three tens, three Noden. Like, do you see the possibilities? Now, if Noden was such a threat to the game and to the format and weighing in scale to how much money it can make, you know, they actually take into consideration. They weigh it on scale. How much of a threat will Noden cause to the game compared to how much money it will make them? They would worry about it. They wouldn't even bring it here. You know, it's like when they banned the Dragon Rulers before, you know, Dark Rebellion even really did anything in TCG. Why did they do that? Well, the Dragon Rulers and Dark Rebellion aren't going to, I mean, Dark Rebellion, Dark Matter, aren't going to make them much money. But the threat that they could cause to the meta is pretty high. So just by banning the Dragon Rulers, the cards that are like two years old that they pretty much don't give a shit about now, they don't have to worry about the threat of affecting the meta, of it, you know, competing with Necros and lowering the price of Necros, which are their cash cow at the current moment, see? But when they look at Noden, and when you guys look at Noden, and you look at the top decks, remember, because I mean, just really looks at the top deck. Really, what deck can really pull off Noden? You know, that will, that Noden will be so fucking busted in this deck that there's no you know doubt in your mind. Really, none. I mean, how would Necros utilize Noden? You know, maybe Noden summon back, you know, Manju or Senju. Of course, their effects are negated. And maybe Exeon or something? You know, maybe uh, maybe one of them Castells that's in the other tin. Maybe one of them Dark Rebellions that's in the other tin. Yeah, you know, maybe make a Lavavo chain. You know, which they also just uh, reprinted in the I think the Gold Series. Yeah, more money. You know, see, uh, you know, Teller Knights. I mean, the effects are negated. So, and of course, their best monster Triv. You kind of have to, you know, when you do Triv, it has to be all Teller Knight monsters. So Noden, you know. And, uh, you're gonna go Noden, Summon, Deneb, and then, see, it, it, it's literally the same play for every deck. So, in that sense, it looks like it's a balance. It looks like it's balanced because it's the same play for every deck. It's not like Noden is gonna overextend any deck's plays. It's just gonna open up a new, fresh play that doesn't involve the normal summon, which is very powerful. But it's the same exact play for every single deck, you know? And then the decks that don't really have access to it, I mean, who cares? That's pretty much the kind of my thinking. What, Cleese can't use it? And, you know, Burning Abyss can't really use it? And, you know? So, when you look at the decks that compete with Shadals, you know, hey, Noden's a water target for, um, for Amalilis. Hey, if you want to go ahead and, and instead go and Insta-Fusion, summon back, um, uh, you know, Shadal and Xe with it, you know, you can just go Insta-Fusion, summon Noden, Noden, summon a Shadal. The effects are going to be negated, that's fine, but if it, you know, if it gets sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you know, it's effect resolved in the graveyard, and then just go ahead and, you know, Shadal Fusion, hey, hey, you know, you could just go activate Insta-Fusion, summon Noden, and Noden summon the Shadal monster, activate Shadal Fusion, those two, summon Amalith, and then the Shadal monster will get its effect because it resolved in the graveyard. Bam, there you go, see? Now, for Jaw, that kind of opens up a new play, and definitely opens up a new play, and you know, right now, Shadal's our deck number two, so... But they'll probably get hit for the next list, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, like I said, um, is Noden so powerful that, you know, they have to worry about it? No. But is Noden good enough to where they can slap it in the tent and make a ton of money? Yes. So I don't think they're going to hit Noden early or Instafusion early. 
they're going to do it after. Just like with Star Stars, where they kind of looked at it and they're just like, you know what, Star Stars are good. They're really good. At, they were really good in the OCG. But you know, we don't. They don't have. We don't have Shockmaster, and you know, I mean, their plays are kind of limited. And we could earn a little bit of money out here, you know. So there we go. Let's go ahead and slap it into World Superstars. All right, we sold some World Superstars. We made our money, people. You yeah, everybody happy with your Star Seraphs? You having a good time with Star Seraphs? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's hit. <laughs> it, and, and and don't be shocked because Konami's done this before. They do something, they make their money, they hit it. They do something, they make their money, they hit it. And, 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 welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. But uh. I definitely do think that the Star Seraphs are going to get hit this upcoming list, whenever it may be. I think maybe July, so I'll probably do like a ban list prediction in June. Because uh, uh, they didn't announce it, but it's like a three-month format, and it would be, you know, after Nationals. So I think that July, like July 1st, even though they didn't say anything. Because it would be still for three months, because April to July, and it would be after the United States Nationals. So then next would just be Worlds, so it'd be the Worlds list. Uh, but I don't think Instant Fusion is going to get hit early. So if the Instant Fusion doesn't get hit on this supposed July list, uh, don't be surprised. <sighs> so I sat here and I talked and I talked and I talked and I haven't even got to the fucking card review. I haven't even got to today's fucking card review. Hello? What the fuck's wrong with me? <sighs> anyway, I yapped and yapped and yapped about uh, Noden. All right, let's talk about this new other guy. So, this is Elder God, oh, Elder e Entity, yeah, Elder Entity, Oots. I mean, I have no other idea how to pronounce this. It's in apostrophe T-S-S. That's, with, with no vowels at all, I would read it Oots, 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 all right, you, you, you have to, you have to, like, how can you not? <laughs> you just see this and you're like, Oots? <laughs> okay, okay, stop. <laughs> so, once again, just like noted, it is a level 4 fusion uh, monster. So, is it the question is, is it insta-fusionable? So, like I said, this is uh, Elder Entity Ints, Fairy Fusion Effect Monster, level 4, light, 2500 attack, 1200 defense. So, her attack is higher than noted. By whole 500. Hey, she's a tie berry. No complaints there, right? Uh, she is made with one secret monster, one extreme monster. All right, so just like you properly, well, no, because I think I think Noden can be either or. I think you can be like you can do two exceed monsters or two synchro monsters or one of each. But this has to be one secret monster, one exceed monster. So if you can insta fusion this, I mean, I'm not sure if you can do this or if it's worth it because a synchro monster and exceed monster, even the exceed monster doesn't. Having any materials is probably still more worth it than just this. But uh, let's go ahead and look. So, the fact is, must be special summoned from your exodex by summoning the above cards you control to the graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. You do not use polymerization. Alright, so, um, yeah, must be special summoned from the exodex by sending the above cards. So you can't, you can't institution this. So, clearly they didn't want to fuck up with it. No, they didn't want to know it. Not another no, no, They did not want another no, no, no. So, you have to summon it from your extra deck. It's contact reason by sending the cards, above cards, you control. So, they didn't even want to be cute with it and just say, you know, on the field. Because then maybe they could have been cute with it and been like, oh, well, you have an XC monster and you have a fusion monster. So, I'm going to go ahead and contact your monsters into this. You know, like kind of like how you fortress with your cyber dragon and you fortress your your opponent's machine monsters. No, it has to be a synchro and key monster you control. Send the above cards from the field to send the above cards you control to the graveyard so you know even if you have a synchro monster and sea monster and your opponent has a freaking uh you know a dank law and you know that this bitch can run over dank law but you can't go to it because you have to send the above card uh to the graveyard in which case you can't because they're going to be banished so there you go so it's already not looking like this card's ever going to be played you know because i I don't even think I would ever want to just go ahead and contact a Synchro Monster and XC Monster. Like, nah. Some deck, most decks, some decks XC, some decks Synchro. There's not a lot of decks that do both, you know? There's not a lot, and even if it was, I, you know, I have a XC Monster and a Synchro Monster on the field, I don't think I want to contact this. But let's actually read the fact. So what the fact is, once per turn, you can special summon one level 4 monster from your hand. Uh, so it's not even as good as noting in that. At retrospect, Noden pluses you. 
you activate Entropy, can you summon Noden? So, you one for one. But then Noden summons you to level four, so then you plus. You go up by one. But then you exceed, so you go down by one, so you zero out. You completely zero out. You you neither neg nor plus from exceeding with a summon off of Noden, which is very powerful because generally when you exceed, you neg. You know, I have five cards in my hand. I go summon a monster, summon a monster, XC. Now I have one XC monster and three cards left in my hand. So I have four cards. I lost a resource. But with Noden, if I just go five cards in my hand, activate Instafusion, Instafusion, summon Noden, Noden, summon monster, XC. I have the XC monster and then... Four cards left in my hand, so five to five. I don't neg. With this card, you don't neg, but you don't plus either. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four monster from your hand. Your hand and your field are the same resource, so you don't plus. You go, you know, I have her on the field and I have five cards in hand. Let's say, once again, for an example, her on the field, five cards in hand. I have a level four monster in my hand. I special summon. The level 4 monster from my hand to the field. So I have her and the level 4 monster in the field and 4 cards in my hand. 6, 6. I didn't plus, I didn't neg, I didn't change, you know? But then as soon as you exceed, you neg. And you're already negging off of her summoning because you're losing a synchro monster and XC monster for just her. So they're already negging off of just summoning her. But then you're going to go ahead and summon a monster from your level 4 monster from your hand. Of course, it's not, it's effective on the gated, like no, so I guess you can go ahead and start summon, I don't know, like. Shadow Mist and get your search and then turn into Dankwall. I guess you could do that, you know, but you have other cards for that. That don't require you to go ahead and get rid of your remaining Synchro and Xe monster, which Xe, yeah, I can see that in, you know, Heroes, but Synchro? Like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we going to play Warrior of the Roses, search it with Relic, it's level 4 tuner and sink into something? Like, no, 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 no. <sighs> but it has one more thing. It's card sent to the graveyard, you could target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only special summon one elder entity once per turn. Uh, it's weird that it says El elder entity oops, like it has parentheses S's, like one to many. It's a weird, because it, not, it just looks like three S's all lined up next to each other. But uh, yeah, so when she sent, when this card sent to the graveyard, so when it sent to the graveyard, period, uh, doesn't even say from the field to graveyard, you can target a card and field and destroy it. So, I'm assuming that she, they want you to go ahead and summon this. This summon a level 4, she's a level 4, XC, and then when you detach off the XC monster, you get to go ahead and destroy a card on the field. Yeah. So, I guess that's the gist of her. But like I said, if she can't be summoned like Noden, then she's not worth the, the time. So they clearly didn't want to Noden. And if she could be summoned like Noden, even with, you know, um, with, uh, Oh my god. Instafusion at 1? You maybe could consider this. Except, like I said, uh, she doesn't plus you, she doesn't make you. She, if you can summon Instafusion, you go Instafusion, summon her. Her effects summon a level 4 from your hand. Its effects are not negated, so you get to go ahead and get whatever. Whatever the effect is. XC, and then, you know, detach, you know, cast out your monster, then uh, its effect, go ahead and pop a card. She might be worth it, but she can't. So, not another note. Ah. <sighs> So, uh, there we go. I talked about Noden, I talked about Ints, and uh, I am done with this card review. This episode is super long, but I hope that you guys still sat through it and enjoyed me talking because you guys know that I like to talk, but I like to talk educatedly, you know? I like to sit down and do these card reviews, get my whole opinion, and if you guys agree with me, then awesome, and if you don't, then go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. So. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. I apologize for it being so long, but uh, I promise you I will be back on Thursday with another card to look at, and hopefully this, that video won't be as long. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys on Thursday.